Hey y'all, what's going on? It's Fred here with Weld to You. So, I'm going to do something a little bit different for this video. I have a pretty good feeling that anyone on this channel who follows welding and trucks and stuff like that, probably at least a few of y'all are going to follow guns as well too. So, not turning this into a gun channel or anything, but I thought it'd be a cool video because Whenever I go purchase anything gun related, I always look at reviews on YouTube and stuff before I go and drop a ton of money on guns or accessories. So today we're going to be looking at three holsters from Urban Carry. So Urban Carry, they are the pioneers of the G3 that fully concealed um, underneath the waistband holster that you pull up and then your gun pops out and you grab it and they're also the pioneers of the lock leather technology which is basically a leather holster that locks your trigger guard when you stick it in so i've been using the urban carry g3 for quite a while as you can probably tell by the imprint of my gun inside this holster however the holster does not have a gun inside it um so the way this thing works is you put the gun inside, just set it right in there. It would go down and it would clip over your belt with this clip right here. There's a magnet in there too and a magnet in here. Um, everything except for this tab here will be concealed inside your pants. And then this tab will just flip over top and the magnet will hold on. And if you ever need your gun, then what you're going to do is you pull up on the tab and you yank it out. There's a million videos on YouTube that show that. I'm not going to waste your guys' time by putting it on and demonstrating. I like the holster a lot. It's a really high-quality holster, really well put together, especially for 70 bucks, and it's a pretty innovative design. Urban Carry did a fantastic job with it for what they were trying to do. Um, it's just, however, with some of my pants and with the clothing I wear, it's... Uh, not super comfortable i've never been a fan of appendix or front side carry so already i was skeptical before i bought it if i had to front side carry or appendix carry that's definitely the holster i'm going with but i don't know if i'm going to get rid of it or not but i definitely wanted an outside the waistband and inside the waistband option going forward here and i went back to urban carry yet again and I got an outside the waistband and an inside the waistband holster. So they are both featuring the lock leather technology. They're both built for my gun, which is a Springfield Hellcat. Uh, I'm going to show you that here too. And again, uh, when you're doing anything with a gun, always verify that it's unloaded. I have no rounds in here. And check the chamber, make sure it's unloaded as well. You can should usually check from there, but since the camera won't let you see it, I'm going to let you look down the barrel and see that it is clear. So, I'm going to put both of the holsters on after I take them out of the packaging and talk about them a bit so you guys can see what they look like on me. And uh, I'm going to have my phone and wallet in my pocket as well, too. So, first off... We're going to go with the outside the waistband holster. We've got the little silicone package in there. Uh, it's pretty stiff leather holster, you know, except for the little tongue up here. Uh, it's got a little screw in right there. You can see that, no rivets. And then there's a separate screw that you can actually manipulate. And that is for the lock leather technology. I'm not sure if you guys can see that little thing in there. That's what locks your trigger up when you stick the gun inside. So I was kind of fighting with it. I didn't need you guys to really see that. So I got it in. Um, fits in there pretty nice. I'm probably going to loosen this up because it was a lot of fight that I had to give this thing to get the gun in there. So I imagine it's going to be just as much to get it out. Uh... As you can tell, black leather doesn't let the gun fall out. And uh, I'm not sure if you guys heard the click, but that's how it works. 
uh, somehow it doesn't really damage the trigger guard or leave any kind of marks or anything. And I've pulled this thing out of a, a lock leather G3 a million times and same deal. It never really gave any kind of harm to the trigger. So don't think it's like a Tidex holster if you've ever had one and the things damaged your gun or anything. These holsters absolutely will not do that. I uh, feel like they're just kind of using a softer plastic than the polymers the lower ends of guns are made of, and it, it seems to work. So now, here is the inside the waistband holster, which also features the lock level technology. So we're going to go ahead and pull this out of the packaging as well. And, uh... Retains the same shape that many of y'all are probably used to seeing with these kinds of holsters here. Uh, you know, got the little tongue up here to keep the gun from touching your skin. And got the clip over here to go over your belt. And of course it would sit inside your pants. And this side would be touching your skin. And then this side would be the side exposed to the outside. So let's stick the gun in here. So as you all can tell, the leather really needs to be worked up and loosened a bit. I had to do the same thing with the G3. Hold on one second, y'all. So I went ahead and grabbed a screwdriver, and I'm going to try and loosen this up right now by myself. And I can loosen it pretty easily. You can see the screw coming out a bit there want to do too much obviously but I'll give it one more rotation and then we'll give it another shot here see if it's any better All right, so there it is locked in. I doubt you all could hear the click and then popped out. But I think I might loosen it a little bit more, um, but I'll do that off camera. But yeah, when it's actually seated in your pants and after just time of popping it in, popping it out, it's going to it's gonna loosen up by itself too, so just remember that. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing too with the outside the waistband holster. See if that makes any kind of a difference. Okay. I think I can see it. I doubt you guys can, but that looks like it's pretty. Pretty much good for a Hellcat. However, still kind of tricky. And I feel like once the leather loosens up, it'll be a lot easier to pop in and pop out. But put a little pressure on the back end of it, and it goes in, and it locks in the way it's supposed to. And, oh, that one comes out way easier than the inside the waistband. All right, so now let me go ahead and throw these on. All righty. Bet you guys don't even know which side it's on, right? Huh. Just kidding. So it's sitting right here. Uh, excuse my underwear. I got it sitting in the belt. It fits through just barely, but uh, I guess that's what they made those loops just big enough for. Uh, pretty comfortable standing up. I haven't sat down with it yet. Fits real nice in there. Um, and even sitting down here. Yeah, still feels pretty good. I feel like the ultimate test, however, will be sitting inside my truck with this thing on. But uh, these, these jorts are kind of weird um, in where their belt loop placement is. 
It's either got to sit way back here or way up here. I can't get a true side fit, but that's because of the pants, not the holster. And uh, the draw is pretty easy. A little bit harder to reholster it, but at the end of the day, there it is. Then we'll draw it out again. Pretty easy. I like. All right, let me throw this guy on, and then we'll do that one. All right, y'all. So I feel like for this holster, I'm probably going to need a bit of a longer belt because now you got the thick leather in the gun that's pushing the belt away from my body. Doesn't leave me a whole lot of leeway to tighten my belt as much as I like. But let's go over to the to the back side. I feel like this one shows a little bit more than the outside, the waistband. That's pretty weird. That one's pretty tight to your body. But uh, there she is. You guys don't need to see my underwear. Uh, when I have these kinds of holsters, I uh, put the belt over the loop. I know some people do different. I mean, I'll do it either way. It's just this is a little bit more comfortable to me. It's probably what takes up an extra quarter inch of the belt, though. Uh, so back here, as you can tell, a little bit harder to draw due to the lock leather. But at the end of the day, I think it's pretty cool technology to keep your gun secured in place. Not sure if you guys saw it there, how it just popped in a little bit, but I'm probably going to have to end up loosening this one a little bit more. Let me take this out. Alrighty, y'all. So, that's the review of these two holsters, the inside the waistband, size 215 from Urban Carry, and the outside the waistband, size 215 from Urban Carry Holsters. Uh, again, final thoughts, both of them, great holsters, high quality leather, very well built. You can tell the amount of craftsmanship that went into the construction. Uh, you know, just need to get broken in a little bit, just need to be worn, just have to have the guns sitting in them to form to the gun the same way that my G3 did. But um, other than that, upon first inspection, I'm very satisfied with both of these. I believe the inside the waistband was $56 and the outside was $59. I could be flip-flop, but one was $56, one was $59. So uh, I feel like that's pretty affordable for holsters this nice. But other than that, uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll leave a link to both of these holsters in the description down below. And go ahead, like, subscribe, and let me know if there's anything else you guys want to see. I'll do just about any video you guys want that I'm capable of doing. Have a good one.